This is a sponsored video that contains products provided without charge by the manufacturer for demonstration purposes. All opinions are my own. Today on Handy Dad TV, I'm going to show you how I mounted my TV and soundbar over the fireplace. Coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. And today I'm going to show you how I mounted my TV on the fireplace. I had done a review, uh, an unboxing of the mount that I used here back a couple of months ago and showed you how heavy duty it was. And today I'm going to show you how I actually installed it and show you how it works. Now I'm using a Mounting Dream mount here. This is an articulating mount. It's pretty heavy duty and it's meant for 16 inches on center. And uh, they also make it in 24 inches if that's what you need in your house. I start by putting the bubble level on the template. Make sure my studs are marked. Of course I can see them so it made it easy. Put the template level on the wall and punch holes through so that I can just see where the the bolts have to go. And then I darken them a little bit with a sharpie. Now they are pretty long bolts. They're like two and a half inches. Now if you don't have an impact driver, you're going to have to use a socket wrench, a traditional socket wrench. But of course, I do prefer and recommend an impact driver. The level came with the kit and it helped me get it exactly where I want it before I tightened it down and then gave it the real test. If it can hold me, it can hold the TV. <laughs> Next, these four arms go on, and those are what actually holds the TV. The kit comes with all kinds of hardware and spacers, and I found the ones that worked right with my TV. Just get whatever works with yours. I love the soundbar bracket. This first time I'm ever using one like this, and I gotta say, it was really simple. Now, after putting the TV on the wall, I have these retaining rings or retaining clips that I put in temporarily. I got the TV left to right exactly where I wanted it, and then I tightened them down for good. Now this is a Samsung soundbar and it comes with these these clips to allow it to hold on to the wall. And uh, it didn't come with screws like this. I had to get those screws and, and put them on both sides. So I'm just going to lift it and put it right into place. Now this is just a Samsung mount. It's made to so you can take it off of the wall easily if you need to. But uh, of course, I didn't. I didn't need to. <laughs> so I like the the way that I can put all the wires on the mount. It has extra space there because those those wings kind of stick out. I'm using the the Velcro straps that came with the kit to hold the power supply there for the the sound bar. And of course I have a fire stick plugged in as well. And I could wrap that cord around too. Just pushing the TV back against the wall. It's very easy to pull out to change anything that I need to. And it works great. So it's a really sturdy mount. And I really like the sound bar attachment on the bottom. That's a separate product. And um, if you're using a sound bar, it makes it so much easier so you don't have to worry about trying to attach it to the wall. So the sound bar mount right here just goes under that bottom screw on the regular mount and you can adjust it for however long you need it and just uh, use whatever hardware came with your, your sound bar to attach it to the wall, but instead you just put it right through the bracket. It works really great. In fact, 
In fact, I liked it so much that I went out and I bought another soundbar bracket and hung a soundbar here. And that replaced that pile of equipment. That was taking up space underneath my, my uh, little storage unit here. Now it's a much cleaner look. This is, um, I think this is a 55 inch Vizio TV with a Samsung soundbar. But looks great, and the soundbar is is pointed down with the TV, so the sound is directed right at the people watching the TV. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Fire no! This one goes to the fireplace. There is a shutoff valve there. Hey, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so you can make sure you'll see every one of the videos in this series as they come out. Thanks for watching.